Okay, <laughs> Bufferfels is just beginning. We're at the industry yes. day. So Emily is here. Hey, 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 what's up? We're here at the CBC building. Really excited for this. I'm not a YouTuber, she's amazing. Um, but I watch YouTube and um, it was a great start to see Amber back, a whole bunch of creators. I actually just sat beside somebody who probably wants to meet you. She doesn't even know that yet, but I was like sitting down. She's like, I'm an aspiring creator. You need to meet Emily. Oh, hey, awesome. Canadian content. This is it. Right. Creative imagination. And there's so many worlds that collide, right? You think yes. it's all like, you know, but there's marketing, advertising, yes. brands, like so much, you know? And I was really, I'm media. really excited to see <laughs> young women of color in yes. the city taking up space. Shout out to Shannon Boudrum, yes. who got a shout out um, this morning yeah, in um, Sally Caddo's opening remarks. There are women doing great work in like, um, comedy, there are women who are just doing great yeah. Yeah, man. in like stuff. fashion and beauty. Um, so shout out to all the queens who are creating content for the world. We see you, we consume you, and yes, keep doing it big Buffer Festival 2018. Love, 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 love to see yeah. Anika Elliott. I gotta put forward Amazing. some stuff. I gotta actually put, cause you know, it's like a festival, like a film festival. You have to submit your your, your work, yeah. but I totally missed the deadline, but I'm moderating, so yes. there's some involvement. I'm gonna try and come back down for your keynote for sure later and so also, yes and i would like to see you know the more content if anybody has content that you're sharing you have a new youtube channel um you have a new episode you can tweet at me at how she hustles would love to share it yeah. amazing <laughs> thank you emily of course thank my you dear. for your sports for everything always always have a good day Hair always looks fabulous well you know i try i think i just hit up jasmine yesterday a, ting, so a, so ting. a big part of what we do because a big part of what we do as well is yes we work with creators yes we create our own content but we also really want to sit down with brands and agencies and figure out what's your strategy here like, what are you actually trying to achieve? And it sounds really simple, but I think sometimes I'm surprised at how muddy the answers are. It's like, are you trying to drive traffic to your sites? Do you want to, do you, want, uh, you know, to drive sales? Is there sort of a click through that you want to happen? What are the benchmarks that you're trying to hit? Um, and I think too many people rush to get into the content part of it sometimes and don't hone in on enough of like what's actually success. Because I think we've all experienced and you learn from good and bad. You, you learn from those times where the KPI wasn't super clear and then at the end of it you're kind of like, well, was it a success? I think so. And, and then you start sort of, you know, figuring it out. And I think when you sit down and really spend time of like, what does success actually really look like? And what's the best strategy? What's the best platform? And start there. Then I think you're setting yourself up for money. Feels natural. Okay, we're at Buffer Fest just chilling on the stoop. Chilling on the stoop. You know, this is how you do it. Azalea's here. Chris Reyes is here. What up, Chris? And we got Nicole. Hi. I don't know if I was on it properly, <laughs> but it's so incredible just to see all these worlds colliding here at Buffer Festival with people who represent brands, people who want to work with creators, creators and, and broadcasters, traditional, OTT, yeah, you know me. <laughs> so it's just a really cool place to be at. I'm going to walk around a little bit more, but we're just chatting about creating and that whole process and finding your passion and fun stuff. Yay. Okay. It's not just queer people on YouTube, it's a lot of different kinds of content that is seen as, I guess, risky or edgy or whatever. Um, so now all of these creators are, are competing for the same brand deals and it's like a really high influx. Um, so I hope something is fixed so it'll level out soon because it's kind of crazy right now. Um, but yeah, doing brand deals and working with brands is definitely what is a lifesaver. Um, I think a lot of creators do speaking events. Clearly, this is my first one, so I've never done that. Oh, <laughs> I come, I come, I come. We're backstage, Buffer Festival, Industry Day, about to go on. I got my Britney Spears mic, Madonna mic, depending on what generation you're from. It depends. And about to go on with Mr. Jonathan Barbato, George Woolley, Brian Terry. Yes. I, went, I went Janet Jackson. I you called see, it Janet you Jackson. Went Janet Jackson. Yeah. You see, if you can tell a lot about what people say. I'm with you. I'm with you on that. So how are you feeling? We're about to go talk about uh, producing, buying content for ready-made audiences. How are you feeling before? Psyched. Yes. <laughs> you want? <laughs> kind of? Yeah. I just hope the audience knows my work, you know? We can have some sing-alongs. We will. We will. This is, this is Mr. TRL, by the way. Right here. Awesome. Okay, so we'll show you a little bit later on. I'm with Scott Benzi. He is the co-founder? Uh, no, I'm a, a, a CEO. new CEO of Buffer. CEO. Yeah. Of Buffer Fest. Just means I get coffee with 
great vigor. With great, that's yeah. right. That's what it stands for, obviously. Light off my head shines so pretty well here. So what do you think? Right? I'm gonna, you know, it's, I can add some stuff. How, uh, are you, how are you feeling? You seem pretty the, cool. In the whirlwind right now, mm -hmm. in the, I don't want to use the word hurricane, it's too topical, too soon. Um, but we're in the eye of the storm and we're kicking it. You are, you are. This is so awesome, and I can see all the the light bulbs going on in the room and people nodding and mm -hmm. yeah, I think serving a need. For what sure. makes Buffer a little bit different is that we actually put creators on the stage, and a lot of conferences just have people talking about creators, mm -hmm. and nobody bothers to ask them the right questions. They are so right, and what ticks them off, what works, what doesn't. <laughs> Yay! And then what what's new and exciting this year in terms of the lineup and the super awards excited and... about the awards this year yeah. that we had never really had formally before. Yeah. Uh, which is really cool because they're going to get something that helps them create from one of our partners and it's celebrating the content as opposed to the celebrity. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to make any references to two brothers and one in LA and one in New York maybe <laughs> causing problems these days, I guess. Um, but you know, we're really celebrating great content here at Buffer and then elevated content on YouTube and we're very excited to be rewarding it for the first time ever. So. That's vote. what we're excited about. It's time to vote. 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 You can't vote if you're not here. You have to come see a screening. Yes. Uh, but then you get to fire up the app and vote for your favorite creator and see them on stage giving an awkward but awesome acceptance awesome. speech. Next year, I'm going to submit something properly. I can fast track it to the top of the pile. See? Can't put you in, but top of the pile. Fast track. Yeah, fast track. Don't worry. I'm doing it. She, get, she got this. Yeah. Thanks for this. Peace. Okay, well that is a wrap on day one of Bunker Festival. This was the industry day. Did a panel. You remember last year when I came to Buffer Festival and I was like, I'm going to be involved in that in some way next year. And a year later, I'm so excited to have had this opportunity to moderate this panel with some leaders in, you know, social TV. You met, you saw all the folks who I uh, did that panel with and it's just, it's just a good feeling. I missed the deadline for creating content this year and submitting my own content, but I will. I'm gonna do it because I believe in what they're doing at uh, Buffer Fest here. I'm gonna check out some of the 